You know, I had a binder from them that I saw before I met them in person. Just a picture of them and a letter to me. And when I saw the binder, I knew that I wanted them to be my father. I'm just happy that I have a roof over my head. We have one adoptive son in the house now and one foster son. Our adopted son, Israel, he really loves baseball. He's a huge fan of baseball. Ask him anything about baseball and he can answer. He knows statistics right off the top of his head. It's amazing. But Israel is a really good big brother to Andre and really insightful into his past and the pain that he endured as a kid. Israel is further along on his path of healing and really helps with Andre. It's really good to watch them become a normal kid. We both come from backgrounds that are not supportive of gay people. So, you know, our thoughts were, you know, will the kids be picked on? You know, is it gonna harm their life more to be adopted by gay people? It became completely clear the night that we met our son, how badly he wanted a family. He immediately started calling us dads. And so, you know, I straight up asked him, what do you think about being adopted by gay people? And he was like, it doesn't matter to me. I just want, I just wanted a home. And so if they were gay, fine, I don't care. I want someone who will love me. And that, for, that really helped me get over the, the, the issue of our sexual orientation. I'm completely sold on the LGBT community being involved in adopting kids because there's so many that need homes and their stories are so sad. And we're a resource that, you know, we want to have children and, you know, we're good at it. I don't, to me, there's no question. They just want to be loved and it doesn't matter who loves them.